Hi, I'm Erica Phil on my phone and welcome to another video. Today, I'm super excited. We're going to be diving into Sweet Scar by Weird Genius, featuring a lot of other artists. And I'm just really excited to get into it. We've listened to Lafi uh, back in October, so it's been a minute, but I'm really excited to see, like, I guess it's a sequel for me, but it really, you know, came out like three years before Lafi. So I'm really excited to see what they were closer to starting out with. The artist that this song features besides Weird Genius is Prince Hussein, Ika Gustawana, Reza Octavian, and Billy Tainer. I may have gotten some of those pronunciations wrong. My apologies. I'm not familiar with any of those artists, but I'm excited to become familiar. We will be starting by listening to the song first, and then we are going to get into the music video. I'm really excited. Anyways, let's get into it. Oh, again, very distinct sounds from them. Oh, this got a good groove to it. Feels like some there's some world music influences here. Can't name them, but I feel them. Oh, that was a smooth transition. Oh, we are building. Their drop last time was so good. Oh, yes, they're always satisfying. This feels like we're going in like these waves of tumbling. Give me back my mind. I feel that. Ooh, this build feels much more like grumbly right now. Oh, the build has come back like forefront. Oh, yes. This like post chorus, it's really fun. It's a bop. Oh, I really like his voice. It sounds really nice. But I already died? Dang. So that was the song and definitely a good work of dance type of pop. Like they definitely have that down in terms of getting the right bass drops and making everything feel so satisfying. I also like the sonics that are more unique to Sweet Scar rather than Lafi with like, you know, like a male voice as well as like, just like the way it like tumbled like waves. It was much more smooth and easy than like Lafi. Lafi is very dramatic. And while I do like that, I like this more cool, chill vibe as well. Looks like it's Prince Hussein, who is the one who actually sings on the track and that the other artists that are referenced are all producers. Perhaps, um, I think some or all of them are part of Weird Genius, like that collective. So like that makes sense. And sorry if I got their names wrong, but it's definitely a possibility I did. I really like the song. Lyrically, it's about like, you know, heartbreak and it's like, you taught me to not go and dive, but I already dive. Like I've already jumped in. How do I get out? But the lesson was you shouldn't have gone in in the first place. And so, you know, a little emo, but it's a fun way of telling, you know, a more emo track. And yeah, I like it. I definitely think it's definitely much more like mainstream like-esque than like Lafi. I know Lafi got like a lot of attention this year or last year rather, but like, I feel like this one feels like much more like safe in terms of like what was popping, especially in 2017. Like I definitely can see how like that track would have done well because like it definitely like worked with what was really popular at the time. And Lafi definitely has much more of an experimental twist to it that I also really like. I think they're, you know, two different moods, even if they have similar messages. Like the sonics of this one are much more like summer chill party. Like you can uh, be sad with the lyrics, but also like the sonics are really fun. Whereas with Lafi, I feel like it's very like dramatic. And while I really like it, like it definitely is more like interesting than I guess like Sweet Scar and that it sounds different than most of what of or else was popular at that time. Anyway, now it's time for the music video. Ooh, 
crashing waves, much like the production. I was saying tumbling waves. Oh, yes, we're getting close ups of the waves. So they're not really focusing on the current singer right now, they're focusing on this woman. It'd be nice to go to a beach right now. This is such a chill image for like a part where we're building. But I already dived. She, she's not even diving. Oh, here's a guy. Okay, so I think this is Prince Hussein. Okay, we got a voice. I don't really know what he's doing here. He's just kind of like chilling in this night skate. This is a very like big contrast between like the bright sun and then like, you know, that nighttime city. Oh, they just kind of like switched very quickly. I can say that the production sounds way better in this headphones. Oh, there's that boat traveling somewhere. What is going on there? Okay, so that was the music video. And like, Definitely I called that. Like, I didn't know that they were gonna be on a beach at any point, but like, it definitely feels like a beach type of track. Like it has the sonics of like, you know, like waves tossing, especially in that post chorus. And so I'm proud of myself for just like seeing that image and just knowing how it should feel. I think in terms of like the concept of the music video, I'm kind of confused because it's really like, you know, this woman and, Prince Hussein, just like vibing in two completely different environments. Like she's on the beach, it's daytime, like very natural, not really that much like human industrial stuff going on. Whereas he's definitely in a nighttime, like busy city, just on the sidewalk, like very heavy industry and dark nighttime. So like, yeah, it's definitely a contrast and we don't really have them interact at all. And like, normally, at least in the past few videos I've been looking at, you know, I'm like, oh, like it's probably because, you know, we're in a pandemic, but this is 2017, there was not a pandemic. So like, but that's not the case. So like, I don't know, it feels weird that they don't really interact much. I'm kind of confused on what plot there is like it seems like she's just kind of like running on the beach kind of enjoying her life but also like seeming like she might get chased but there's absolutely no one else there so that's why i'm confused but like he's just you know vibing kind of sad in cityscape and like yeah i don't really know what to make of it like i don't know what the meaning is i don't know who she is like you could say it's like a lover like that there's a love interest between those two or a former love interest, but he doesn't have anything about diving. He's not the one diving and she's not diving either. So I don't know. It's definitely a much more simple and just, I guess more for the aesthetics of it rather than like Lafi, which was very dramatic. It literally had like fire breathing, it had like, you know, spirit and possessing and so much special effects. Like you can see that, you know, this song and its popularity paved the way for, you know, a higher budget in the future. And so, yeah, I'm glad I listened to this song and I'm glad I watched this music video, but like definitely it seems like we've evolved from Sweet Scar, which is more radio friendly and like, you know, pretty simple music video to Lafi, which is like dark, dramatic, and like is much more unique in terms of a sonic production. But overall, I did enjoy listening to this. I can definitely see myself listening to it again. I probably like, I'll probably watch the music video like one more time before like completely putting this up into the world. But like, I don't think it's a music video I would like return to for like how wild it is. I feel like it's always the ones that are either very dramatic or super, super aesthetically pleasing that are the music videos I would return to. And like this one, like it's fine. It's a nice music video. It's not nothing wrong with it, but like there's also nothing like super special about it, if that makes sense. What are your thoughts on the song? What are your thoughts on the music video? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Please let me know down in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to hear your feedback. I had never heard of Weird Genius before like this past few months. 
So I'm happy to react to any more of their stuff or listen to similar artists. So just please let me know. If you like this video, please like it. Please comment down below what you'd like me to react or what listen to next. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not ready and you'd like to be. And thanks for watching. This is Charles Stormer. Catch you later. It's storming turtles from out of the sky. Turtles don't need to know why. Smile big.